Hi, Nicola Raskam here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is, why does my company need data governance? Now, usually at this point in the video, I say something like, well, this is a frequently asked question, but actually this one isn't. And I wish it was asked much more often. In fact, I think it is so important that you're able to answer this question that, you know, addressing it is the very first item on the free data governance checklist that you can download off my website. Because if you can't answer this question, I've seen people make the mistake of spouting things like, oh, we're doing because it's best practice or, you know, we, we work in the regulatory industry and it's required. Um, but if you do it for that reason, you're likely only to do the bare minimum to tick the box of the regulator. Or people will spout generic benefits like, oh, there'll be efficiencies or there'll be better opportunities if we do data governance. But they can't explain why when challenged. And the consequence of this is, you know, when you're meeting your stakeholders at the start of a data governance initiative, particularly your senior ones, they want to be able to know what's in it for me. And if you can't answer that in a way that they really are interested in and, and benefits them, they're just not going to be interested. You're going to really struggle to get buy into your data governance initiative. And ultimately, that means that you're not going to get the support you need for it or the funding. And everything you've done today is just going to be wasted effort. So you're probably listening to this going, well, what do I do then, Nicola? Because you haven't answered the question. So I can't tell you what the answer is for your organization because each and every organization is different. And why your company is doing data governance will be different from another, probably even different from your closest competitors. So there is no one standard approach that I can give you a list that will work for everybody. But what I can do is tell you how to go work it out for yourself. So there are three things I would do. The first is look at your corporate strategy. Look at the objectives that are listed in that and work out. Is your data currently well understood, good enough quality to help deliver those objectives? Because if the answer is no, then you've got a really good way of articulating and explaining why data governance is needed to help you achieve your corporate strategy. The second thing I would do is look at your data strategy if you have one. Now, if you have one, I do hope that there already is some sections about data governance in there. But if there isn't, you need to work with a person who owns the data strategy and work out, you know, what activities in there are they planning? And you can work out why you need data governance to support those activities to be successful. And then finally, I would go and search for your data quality horror stories. So that's how I describe the things that have gone wrong because either data is missing or you've got poor quality data and things have gone wrong as a result. So if you can gather together all that information, you can do some analysis to identify the drivers for data governance in your organization. And with that information in hand, you'll be able to talk to anybody, whether they are senior stakeholders or the business users down at the coalface, and you're going to be able to articulate what the benefits of data governance are going to be to them and why their organization needs it. And that is going to make you be so much more successful in your data governance initiative. So, I do help you have found that helpful. Um, if you want to download the free checklist that I mentioned, you can head on over to my website and download it at nicolaaskham.com forward slash free hyphen data hyphen governance hyphen checklist. And if you have found this video helpful, please help me get the message out there and help more people be successful with data governance by sharing this video on your favorite social media channels. And don't forget, if you've got any future questions that you want me to answer um, on one of these videos, please just drop me an email at questions at nicolarascom.com.